For those of you who are taking a thesis seminar, uh, we're now starting to write the uh, results and discussion section and uh, a few points to consider. Remember that the, the results and discussion section is really to answer your research questions. So you need to reference uh, the main purpose of your study uh, you know, throughout uh, your, your discussion. Make sure that you generalize the most important findings. So some of the findings, uh, some of the data that you uh, have collected may or may not be uh, included in your final uh, report. So you do need to be selective and, and choose just the information that is most relevant uh, to the, again, the purpose of your study and uh, your research questions. Also make sure you explain your findings in general and uh, think of the question words answering what, when, where, why, with whom, etc. You can also compare your uh, results with what you expected and you can also compare to other studies. So these are a few considerations uh, to consider whenever you start writing up your uh, uh, results and discussion section and uh, make sure that you use the correct headings as appropriate. Uh, you may want to divide up your sections or your discussion into two or three different sections. But these are some things to uh, consider when you uh, write up your results and discussion section.